Hi, and welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant, and today I have for you a Jaguar XJ8, and this is the 4 litre ver version. Um, it is also a sport. So it's got the lovely Jaguar wheels. They look like XK8 wheels to me, um, which suit the car very well. And the spare wheel is also the same alloy, full-size alloy wheel. So it's got the 4 litre V8, which makes it that little bit quicker. Being the V8 update version, it's got a five-speed transmission. It's got a beautiful color combination where it's got the, the bone interior um, with the black, so all the carpet and everything's black, yet the seats are obviously cream, which is great. So the, we love this, we all love this color combination, but getting in and out, you know, with cream carpets, they do get very, very dirty. So being the sport, it's got a wood grain steering wheel. Um, it tells how the wheels and that a few other options on the inside. I think this, this darker wood grain was only on the Sport as well. So it's five speed automatic with the sports, sports shift option, which just makes it change a little bit quicker and stays in gear a bit longer as well. Such good value at this price. It has done 222,000 Ks, but it's got a wish list of receipts right through the logbook. It had eleven or twelve thousand dollars spent on it at 190,000 Ks. I think it's also in recent times had some significant money spent. So I guess all the money, you know, which has had to be spent on this car, um, I'll assume has been spent looking at those dockets. But, I mean, come in and have a look at the car yourself and take it for a drive. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got Pirelli tyres. I can't see a mark on the paint at all, really. It looks spotless to me. And it's a beautiful colour, this sort of deep burgundy colour with colour combination it really does just look lovely. So the XJ8 has the updated dash as you can see compared to the previous model the XJ6. The other great thing about these is you get so much more on the XJ8 yet there's no real price difference between an XJ6 of this series and an XJ8. Personally I'd be buying the XJ8. You really do get so much more. And being the update series, by 1997, the model had been out for about five or six years, and you know, I guess you'd think that any problems they generally had with build and quality and things would have been ironed out by now. But look, if you are looking for a Jaguar, any XJ series, you've got to have a look at this one, take it for a drive. I just drove it and it drove absolutely beautifully. And um, yeah, obviously, it's on at this fantastic price because it does have 222,000 Ks. However, if you look at one with 150, 160, 170, you know, it could be coming up to, you know, a long list of, you know, service repairs if it hasn't been serviced properly. Where, in my opinion, this is, you know, it's all been done on this one. So give us a call, take this for a test drive. You won't be disappointed. It really is a lovely car.